Hey, I want to show you a really, really cool pattern. Uh, a really easy fill. You can use it in rock and roll, fusion, do some blues, I don't care. But uh, uh, we're going to use this as a fill, and we're also going to use this as a pattern to do just a, with a solo. right? And it's a six-note six pattern, sextuplet you can call it if you want to call it. I'm going to count it in 16th note triplets later on. All right? But all it is is one, two, three, four, and then two on the kick drum. One, two, three, four. Now, you can do a double stroke on your with your right foot. Okay, or you can do a double. If you got a double pedal, a lot of you guys got double pedals. Okay, now what we just need to do is just get that ironed out and nice and do that till your eyes bleed, okay? That's gonna take some practice for a lot of you. Some of you are gonna be able to just nail that. The nice thing is, is you don't have to play this very fast to make it sound good, all right? And sometimes I think when it's fast, it doesn't sound as good. All right, let's let's live, let have this, uh, let's let this breathe a little bit and put some melody and some dynamics to it. And the space is really gonna uh, really knock it out of the park here. So once we get this down, let's get a little bit risky and let's take our right hand and let's start moving that around and we're just going to start uh, with the snare then I'm going to go over to the floor tom and I'm going to move this tom and all right it doesn't sound anything all right not bad now let's take our left hand Let's get our left hand moving around. Look at that. Oh, I got a little funky on you. We take this and we start adding some accents, maybe with our left hand. It really starts sounding kind of cool, all right? So let's take it, and, and now in addition to just doing this. to doing that let's take this and let's format it and let's put it inside a drum beat okay what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play a simple eighth note rock and roll beat and two and three and four something like this now I like to count my 16th note trips one only and only two only and only three only four one only and only two only and only three only four that's hard to say fast. One only, only, two only, only, three only, only, four only, only, one only, only, two only, only, three only. Get it? All right. You work on the tongue twister part, and I'll work on the drum part. Let me speed it up. Oh, that's too fast. One only, only, two only, only, three only, and four. There we go. Now here we go. We're gonna take that that pattern. Now, this is tricky because you're either going to have to drop out a beat or you're going to have to add a beat because your kick drum comes in on one or you can just end it on four. So you're going to go one only, and only, two only, and three only, and four. All right, here we go. One only, and only, two only, and three only, and four. One. doesn't have to be the snare, all right? We can end that on the tom. All right, really, I don't 
know, kind of easy. Let's put three kick drum beats on this. That's tricky. Anyway, really fun, simple, fat sounding. Use it as a turnaround. Isn't it funny? Sometimes the simpler things always sound better. I could sit here and do this. And people go, yeah, that was cool. But I do this. They like that better. Drives me crazy sometimes. Now let's double that up. That's getting nasty now. See what's happening there? We can take this and have a lot of fun with it. One only, only two only. Easy peasy, okay? Not that hard to do. And you start messing around with your kit and your your voicings and some of that. We didn't even touch the cymbals, really. All right? But you can do some really, really cool things. Have fun with this. Work it out. And uh, people will love to hear it. And you'll love playing it. I promise you. Good luck, man.